for WS platform is a low code development tool used to quickly create multi channel applications, including web and mobile applications for iOS and Android mobile platforms. The key feature of this platform is the creation of applications without the need for coding them with traditional tools such as an IDE or other advanced editors. Applications can be configured graphically using the App Designer, a web application where the focus is on the application configuration. Of course, you still have the option to inject code in the application when there's the need for it, but it can be considered to do as an exception and not the typical way to create applications. The presentation and business logic of the application can be configured most of the time, and coding is rarely necessary. Who can use it? Anyone who has the application requirements and is able to use Basic SQL to filter. Basic filtering is sometimes necessary to select the correct data. No iOS or Android programmers are required if you have to create mobile apps, as well as no web developers are needed to create web applications, since these applications can be configured without any specific knowledge of these areas. The main benefits of this solution is the reduced time to market thanks to the use of a low-code development tool and the reduced cost involved with the creation of applications, since they can be realized without programmers, without technical knowledge and without the need to be maintained. Because the Enterprise Edition is released as a software as a service on the Google Cloud infrastructure, it's easy to maintain, install and includes all the features you need in terms of security, base software and hardware infrastructure and reliability. Now it's time to move on and see how to use the product in a simple scenario. We will create a mobile application used to maintain a list of customers and a map to show where a customer is located and a list of products with a preview image for each of them. Once locked on the platform, we have to create a new application. Let's name it Test Mobile. Every time a new application is created, a few additional settings are needed. The application title, the one we will see when starting the configured mobile application, the menu type, among the ones supported for a mobile app. The next step is to create the objects we need to work with, which will become database tables. For this example, a couple of tables are needed, customers and products, and they have been already created and filled previously. So, we will create two objects, one for each table, starting with the customers. In order to do it, we use the new functionality. Here, we will choose the Tables already exist option, since the table is already available, and we press Next. Here, we have to create objects and select the table we are interested in, Customers. Once we've done that, an internal representation of the table will be created and made it available to the rest of the platform. The environment also creates automatically a couple of business components expressed as SQL queries, used to fetch all the data from that table and show it in a grid, for example. And the second component used to fetch data related to a specific record, that is to say, to a specific client. For that reason, we choose business component already existing and move on. At this point, we are halfway through creating our application. It's time to create the user interface. We can use the create a new window wizard to create a window and also add it as an item on the menu application. Let's start with a window showing the customers list, composed of a filter panel and a grid where the clients will be added, changed, deleted. The required settings are minimal, the window title, an icon and the type of content to add. Here, we can choose among a wide range of window components, including grids, detailed forms, trees, charts, image galleries, maps and many others. We select the filter plus grid panel and click on the next button. We have to choose which business component would fill the grid. We have already created it, so we can just have to select it from the components list and click on the Finish button. Let's see what the designer has created in the panels list. Here we can see a filter panel and a grid panel. If we open the filter panel, we can choose which filters to activate 
and make them visible on the top of the client list. Let's check the first two fields to show two filtering conditions for the customer code and the name. Note that the filter has an age set to zero. It means that the filter panel will not be shown in the window containing the customer's list, but the filter can be assessed through the pop-up window on top of it. Bear in mind that you are creating a mobile app running on a small display, there's no space for everything, and many parts can be shown through buttons or menu items. Finally, let's have a look at the grid settings. As default behavior, all columns are visible. Let's hide a few of them. The first functionality is ready to use. Let's have a look at it in the mobile application. We can open the mobile application starting from empty app available at platformdemo.synesy.it website, download and install it. Once run the app, we can log into it and see the customer's menu item. When clicking on it, the client's list is shown. Here we can sort columns, filter data through the pop-up menu on the top. Let's go back to the app designer and add a detail window for a single customer. We can use the new functionality menu item or go directly to Windows functionality and add a new window. Name it customer, uncheck the create menu item since we want to open it from the customer's list and not from the app menu. Here. We choose the detail option and select the right business component created previously when creating the customer's object. Look at the linked grid combo box. Here we need to specify which grid will be used to open the detail. As a result, in the grid definition for customers, we can see that a JavaScript action has been created and linked to the touch event on the grid. Each time the user would touch the row of the grid, this action will be executed in order to open the customer detail. Let's see again the app to check out the result of our configuration. Here, we have to choose the sync app command used to synchronize the mobile app with the platform server. Through this operation, the app will receive all changes to the app configuration from the app designer. Once we have done that, we will see the customer detail window working when clicking on a row or when choosing add to add a new customer. Let's go back to the app designer and add a shortcut to add a new customer, starting from the customer's list. A very common way to do it is through a fab button, that is to say a floating action button, the button representing the primary action in a window. We will use it to open the empty form for inserting a new customer. Let's go to the customer's grid definition and select wizard, open window from fab button. Once chosen the right option, we have to select which window to open in insert mode, customer. That's all. Let's see the result on the mobile app. Again, we have to synchronize the app and after a few seconds, we can see the customer's list and see the new fed button in action. Let's go back to the app designer and add the Google map panel on the bottom of the customer detail panel. We don't want to create a new window. We want to add a map panel to the an already existing customer window. Let's go to edit mode and right click on the root node representing the content of the window. Here, we have to choose add map and press the plus button to create a new map since there aren't already existing maps. The map must be filled with one only point coming from the customer's table. So we can choose the detail reading for customer's business component. We need to fill in the, all the required fields, a panel title, a zoom level, map type, and the fields to use to fetch latitude and longitude. When confirming these settings, the panel has been added to the window and we can save the window content. Anyway, this is not enough. The customer detail form and the map are still disconnected. We need to force the map loading when loading the form. In order to do it, we need to utilize another wizard available at form level. Let's open the detail definition for customer and select wizards. We have to select load Google map after loading the form. Once chosen the right map panel, we are ready to synchronize again the mobile app and see the map in action for different customers.
The first functionality is done. Let's move on the second one, a list of products with a preview panel showing an image for each product. The first step is defining the object for the products table. Let's use again new functionality and choose the tables already exist option since the table is already available and we press next. Here we have to create objects and select the table we are interested in, products. Once we've done that, an internal representation of the table will be created and made it available to the rest of the platform. The environment also creates automatically a couple of business components expressed as SQL queries, used to fetch all the data from that table and show it in a grid, for example, and a second component used to fetch data related to a specific record, that is to say, to a specific product. For that reason, we choose business component already existing and move on. We can select the create a new window wizard to create a window and also add it as an item on the application menu. Let's start with a window showing the products list composed of a grid and nothing else. The required settings are minimal, the window title, an icon, and the type of content to add. Here we can choose grid and click on the next button. We have to choose which business component would fill the grid. We have already created it, so we just have to select it from the components list and click on the finish button. Let's get back to the mobile app and see the list of products after synchronizing the app again. The last step is adding a preview panel on the bottom of this window, where showing an image for each product. Let's have a look to the products table. Here we can notice a field named image path where the file name for each image is defined. The images referred in the products table and to show on the app must be stored somewhere on the server file system. What we need now is to define a directory representing the absolute path where the images are saved. We use the directory functionality to define a directory. In this way, we can refer that directory in any other part of the app designer when we need to manage images or files by and large. Now we have everything we need to define a preview panel. Let's open the definition window for products, switch to edit mode, and through the right-click operation, add a preview panel. Here we have to create a new one and fill in with all the required data. The business component containing the image name, it must be a business component for detail. We assign a name to the panel in order to identify it in the panels list if needed. We have to select the field containing the image name and how the app has to manage the file, in our case, as an image. Let's save the settings, define where position in the preview panel and save again. Last step, we need to bind the preview panel to the list of products so that when we select a product in the list, the corresponding image is loaded in the preview panel. The simplest way to do it is using the wizard available at the grid level. Let's open the definition for the grid, choose wizards and load preview panel from a row click. There's nothing else to do. Our application is ready to be used. Let's have a final look at it. After the synchronization of the app, we can open the products list, select a row and see its image below. If we choose a different product, a different image is shown. That's all. Creating mobile apps has never been so easy thanks to 4WS platform. Now it's all up to you. What do you want to do with your platform?